Hi again, friends. Let's go explore the backyard. Have you ever been fishing? Maybe with your family or with some friends? So most people don't have a pond or a river in their backyard, but there's usually one pretty close by and it's really fun to go catch fish. So here's a fish that we caught yesterday. Look at this. It's a rainbow trout. They are beautiful fish. See, this one is doing just fine. He doesn't like being in this water, in this clear tank, to be all exposed like this. Usually they would want to go down to the bottom if they see a person. They'd want to hide in the rocks. Let's get a little closer so you can see the coloration of the rainbow trout. Rainbow trout get their name because there's a red stripe and colorful pattern on the side of their bodies. Here you can see that this one has kind of a pink stripe and then it goes up to green. The top of their body is dark colored, which helps them blend in with their environment when looking at them from above. And then their body is also covered in these speckles. Rainbow trout came from North America, west of the Rocky Mountains. But now they have been raised and released all over the world. They are in every continent except for Antarctica. They prefer cold rivers and lakes and ponds. There's something very special about the rainbow trout. It can live in fresh water and then also salty water of the ocean. It will swim to the ocean, live there a couple years, get very large and then come back and lay its eggs. It will then go back to the ocean. It may take several trips to the ocean and back to the river to lay more eggs and live out its life that way. So this is a very special fish. I'm gonna pick it up right now. I'm using a glove because um, I'm trying to protect the fish. The fish will have a There he is. Isn't that a beautiful fish? Oh, he wants to be back in the water. We'll put him back in. There he goes. He's fine. Fish have a layer of slime that comes from their skin. This is a natural thing and it actually protects their body. There's multiple layers of protection that a fish can have. One is its scales. The scales can give a layer of protection from parasites and other harmful things that might be in the water that are trying to get into its body. And, and then it also has the, the outer layer of protection is a layer of slime. That's why fish are so slimy. It's really for their own good, it protects them. And so I'm wearing this glove because I wanna keep as much of that slime on the fish as possible because it's good for the fish. When rainbow trout go to the ocean and live there, they become rather large and they go through a little bit of a transformation. And when they do that, they are then called steelhead. So a steelhead is the same as a rainbow trout. It's just one that has gone to the ocean and grown rather large. I caught a steelhead one time. Let me show you how big it is. Here's the fish I caught while fishing with my dad on the Columbia River in Washington State. The largest steelhead ever caught was 42 inches long, about that long, and it weighed almost 50 pounds. Rainbow trout are carnivores, and they will eat just about anything that they can catch, like insects and fish and crustaceans, and they'll eat worms. That's one of their favorites as well. This one right here was caught with a worm. Remember those night crawlers we caught? Well, they came in handy. If you've ever been fishing, you know that it takes a lot of patience. The fish don't always take your bait and things just don't happen the way you always want them to. One of the fruits of the Spirit is patience. God is super patient with us. He must be frustrated with us and all the mistakes that we make and how many times we don't do what we're supposed to do, but he's still patient with us and he still loves us. He can give us that patience too, if we ask. So why don't you ask God today to help you to be more patient? Well, our beautiful rainbow trout here, he doesn't have a choice but to be patient to find out what's next for him. 
and he's quite fortunate that we caught him yesterday. We caught him in a small pond and he would eventually have been caught and probably eaten. So that's not gonna happen to him. Actually, I'm gonna take him to a nearby river and release him. And then he'll have a chance to go to the ocean and grow to be a really big steelhead and live a long life. Okay, bye-bye rainbow trout. All right, see you next time. Bye-bye.